I know y'all seen this video, but listen, I really believe that July 4th says 5th, they opened up a portal and started bringing back shit like this. Y'all gotta see this video. Look at this. All right, so look, it's gonna come in right there. You see it? Now, before y'all say this is fake, it's multiple viewpoints on this shit. This is the reason why our ancestors seen what they seen, I'm trying to tell y'all. So as y'all all know, I'm still shadow man, but we still gonna wake that shit up! Guys, <laughs> now, they have not removed these chemicals from uh, cereals yet, and they're creating new cereals like this baby shark cereal targeting little children and toddlers like my little girl who's two years old that loves that song. I mean, who doesn't oh, love everyone, that song? right. Baby shark, do 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 right? And of course, when she saw this box sitting on my desk, they want it. They want it. And this is not stuff that little kids need to be eating. There's another chemical in there too called BHT. That's an endocrine disrupting chemical that can affect children's hormones. So this is serious business. Okay. Is Mars a round, red planet reflecting light over 200 million miles through a space vacuum, or? Is it a lot closer to home? Here's an image of what they're saying Mars's surface looks like, and when I went on my search engine and just searched Devon Island, it looks kind of similar. And also, this was the first image that pops up. So I said, let me investigate some more. This Devon Island place seems a little odd. So I looked at it on Google Earth, and you're not gonna believe what I found. <laughs> yeah, I was looking into this at like 2 a.m. last night, but you are not going to believe what is just played right there as soon as you zoom in. Just rewatch the video if you want to zoom in on yourself. Just download Google Earth on your phone and you can do this yourself. But um, I go into Street View, click here, and um, the first thing that we're going to see here is a couple trucks, some people hanging out by some four-wheelers. Um, but what is, is that a NASA sign on that? <laughs> what? What is Mars 1? NASA? Moon 1? NASA? <laughs> Mars? A lot closer to home. It's in Canada, people. Seriously. By the way, this lie makes no sense if you just like logically think about it. Um, they're telling you that they've had a, um, a little drone on Mars since 1997. They've been driving that thing around, it did it to do, but we can't go back to the moon. This thing just traveled through a space vacuum and perfectly landed a drone, you know, slowed down, and it, it just like, just really, can't like think about it. Whenever you're talking about Mars, you've always got to bring up the book by Dr. Werner von Braun, literally talking about a guy named Elon colonizing Mars. All that they're trying to do is convince you guys that space is real that this planet sucks and that we should go elsewhere. We have all we need here. We haven't even discovered all of it since the Antarctic Treaty is stopping all of us. But anyway, Mars also, they go to a couple other areas to take pictures. <laughs> like you guys seriously just believe these people are remote controlling a drone on Mars since 2003. A rock that's orbiting the sun gets over 200 million miles away. Like, just think about it. But in my opinion, I don't think anybody's gonna be landing on Mars anytime soon. This is what it looks like when us normal people look at it, and this is the computer-generated images that NASA will throw in your face. <laughs> None of what's in the sky is as described by NASA. CGI, reality.
But if you want more content like this popping up on your For You page and you're following, make sure to follow me before you head out of here and make sure to leave a comment letting me know your thoughts. Interesting that you say that. Check this out. Listen. The Black Jesus story was uh, probably one of the most shocking things I ever heard. Um, welcome. It came from my insider, uh, Jacob, I call him that in the book, who actually was working for the Rothschilds and still does. And um, Jacob Rothschild. also is a whistleblower who doesn't really do what they want, but continues to work for them because he feels like there's some very serious extraterrestrial threats to Earth and that what they're doing is very necessary to protect us. Yes, this is here. So the story goes that in the 1960s, there was a black man uh, in Africa who came in with abilities complementary to those of Jesus. And uh, he was performing miracles. He was starting to get people to listen to what he had to say. And the cabal tried to kill him. And, you know, they could shoot him in the head and his skull would just regenerate and the flesh would grow back and uh, he was fine. And, you know, so the crazy story that I heard, which, and, and remember, I was told at the time that if I disclosed this, that I would be uh, killed. And I ended up putting it in the book anyway. Um, the story was that this guy, uh, you know, they finally said, okay, we're going to bring you to the United Nations and share your message with the world. Let's get you on this flight. They, they bring him on this flight. And instead of bringing him to the United Nations, they shot him repeatedly and then actually had some kind of meat grinder device uh, and basically like a bandsaw, I guess, and sawed up his body into a whole bunch of pieces, put him in these very, uh, very like radioactive shielded uh, containers and then had all these fighter jets dock with the plane and fly his body parts to all corners of the world where then these containers um, uh, turned them into ash. And uh, they thought that maybe this would defeat him, like that his body somehow, the tissue was necessary. So if they destroyed all the tissue in all these places across the world, maybe they could defeat him. Well, he then regenerated in, in their offices and was fully fine, fully intact. But the sad part is that he said, you know, I, you guys so badly do not want me to be here that I am not going to be able to do any more. You're going to get what you want, but bear in mind that in the future, many others like me will be coming, and when they do, you will not be able to stop us. Wow. Now, wow. Well, let's is... Now, how about that for a story of Jesus? They didn't teach you that in history class, did it? Damn, I must have missed that class. It must have been happening around lunch. <laughs> China is working on gain of function to increase the power of the Nipah virus. This is a virus that literally makes your brain swell and expand until you die. He said, to give you an idea, the Nipah virus has a 60% lethal rate. And he said, we just lived through COVID, which has a 1% lethal rate. So they're doing gain of function right now, according to these scientists, on viruses that are 60 times more deadly than COVID. I mean, that to me, that's absolutely terrifying. If that leaked, it would be game over. In fact, this doctor went on to say that if this virus leaks from a lab, it would set humanity back a thousand years. Basically, 60% of the world's population would be wiped out. And yet, they continue to do gain-of-function research on the Nipah virus right now. That, that's, that's terrifying to me. I can't believe our government is allowing that.
I'm gonna try to do this real fast because I really don't have time. Check this out. Gucci Man served his sentence at the Federal Correctional Institution in Terry Hall, Indiana. It says it's a medium security prison. It's really a maximum a maximum security prison, right? Gucci Man supposedly described it as a place that is full of death, full of violence, full of despair. That's what made him change. So the article reads. Nah, that's Cap. I'm about to show you. This is the institution that he was at, right? This is the institution that he was locked up at. Why was he all the way in Indiana for federal firearm charges? That's the first question. This might be an answer. So they asked the judge to consider giving him credit for 11 months served in the Cal County Jail. Somebody else commented on the post said he was locked up with him in the Cal County. But then he went to Indiana. Down here it says Drew finally said Davis would prefer to serve his time on the West Coast to be away from distractions that's closer to home. Understandable. Completely understandable, but I'm about to crack this thing wide open. I don't have time. I'm about to show you who all these people are. Not right now, but probably in my in the next couple days, I got you. Following World War II, Terry Hawk gained several new factories. Pfizer, Alice Chalmers, and lo and behold, Columbia Records. But we're just going to focus on Pfizer because everyone knows what Pfizer is about, right? And the crimes that they have already done against humanity. Let's get to it, man. Pfizer, all right? Pfizer Inc. is an American multinational pharmaceutical and biotechnology. Keyword, Biotechnology Corporation, headquartered in Manhattan, New York. Bruh, give me some time. I'm about to break all of this stuff down. Charles Pfizer, I'm about to show you who he is too. Not in this video, but like I said, I don't have time. So you're just going to have to take what I got right now. For the people who don't know what biotechnology is, the integration of natural sciences and engineering sciences in order to achieve the application of organisms, cells, parts thereof, and molecular analogs for products and services. Come on with the game, bro. Come on with the game. Like I said, life of part two. You ain't even got a life for part two because I'm going to give it to you anyways. Religion is the fictitious excuse of origins of non-black people. Religion is not real. So when we take religion off the table and we take the evolution theory off the table, no non-black person has factually ever been able to explain where they come from. So history and script, we throw in religion and history out the window. We throw in Western psychologies version of history so any basic level geneticist any basic level biologist will tell you not only do we have carbon in our dna i mean in our skin from billions of years old exploded stars mm -hmm. which they call stardust what they fail to tell you is stardust is genetic material so your dna and the molecular structure of yourself is created outer space we just we made from the same stuff that stars are made of and so here's the question who are these people walking around that are not made of that stuff and where did you come from i feel like i've been being governed by strangers all my life and until you tell me where you come from you are a stranger mind blown can you help us understand like what's the significance of the UFOs. Like, They're not say. coming from, well, I should say this way. The significance of UFOs is, is multiple parts, but number one, it's not what you think it is. It's not coming from other planets. The evidence doesn't suggest that. Interdimensional. Yes. And the reason is because time is, <clears throat> time is parallel. It's not linear. Or it's not like we, we start here and go forward in time. Time is side by side, which means everything in the past and the future is exi existing in this moment, but within different frequencies. So a civilization that's at the end of their technological cycle could build a submarine that changes its voltage and materializes in that same location, just into our timeline. What is a conspiracy theory that gets scarier the more you look into it? Marijuana federal legalization is being prevented, not because the population will become a bunch of lazy slobs, but because it will decrease the division and anger within the population. Are you ready to have your mind blown? Here you go.
they started showing up at the time we did nuclear weapons. They're not here to protect us. They're because that would be like they, they start, not interdimensional. That'd be from like outer space. No, to protect not interdimensional. Us. Because the one thing we found out is that the EMP wave from a nuclear blast kind of travels through multiple dimensions. So it's uh, like that that energy is fucking up whatever's in that location, and maybe those people are like, "What the fuck was that?" Let's materialize into that other timeline and get those motherfuckers to stop. But the reality is, too, is UFOs have been around forever. Like, you're talking biblical, you're talking religions, you're built, talking built the, the pyramids. The pyramids, you're talking the Star of Bethlehem is not a star. The sun is big. The Star of Bethlehem is like a little ball of light that three dudes on horses followed for days and it hovered over a manger. So think about that. What is that? Ezekiel's wheels, you know, Fatima in Portugal. All these religious events are always the same thing. And you got to then go, well, what are they doing? What is happening from that? Well, we start cults. We go crazy. We create different religions. We have different belief systems. We get really scared because they prophesize the end of the world. They tell you that if you do something wrong, you're going to go burn in hell for eternity. But if you listen to what that voice is in your head, that's God. So do that. And then someone hears a burning bush and they go and start a religion. You know, it's like holograms and technologies and, and, you, and making people not be together you know making us think that there's a dude like Allah or Jesus that created the universe versus source intelligence there's just like your bandwidth your fiber optic cable just to like consciousness which is like the one power that powers the atom that's that permeates everything and we're all from it but as long as we think it's a dude and that group over there thinks it's a different dude we're gonna hate each other right. and we don't really evolve and we don't really grow spiritually you know what I've, if what if Spooky, unexplainable stuff. They say if you go to YouTube, pick any video, any video. It could be his football, right? Go up here. See how it says watch? Click on. Take off the H. So it just says W-A-T-C. Hit enter any video what is going on hold on try it again any video any video look guy doing an rv how about that hurry up hurry up go up to watch take that h off Eu não sei se eu não Oh, of course not. They're not going to show the American people on mainstream media of other countries protesting and even kicking out their leaders. But people need to see this kind of thing and know that it's possible because once we take a stand, they can't stop us. They can try, but our Second Amendment helps with this. We, the American people, can overthrow a tyrannical government, especially one that is throwing our country into the garbage. You know what the budget NASA has? You know how much they, they get? How much money they get? Tens of billions of dollars a year. Have you seen the movie Gravity? Okay. 
That's made for about $100 million, give or take. And if you saw the movie Gravity, that was pretty impressive. I saw it on IMAX, big screen, like, wow. I mean, I felt like I was with Sandra Bullock flying around in space, freaking out myself. And this is what they're able to do with $100 million. What are you able to do with tens of billions of dollars a year since the 60s? And why is it that all the astronauts, if not all, most of them, have to be Freemasons? How many of you know secret societies are good at keeping secrets? So you have organizations, people say, well, it's too big a conspiracy. There's no way, too big a conspiracy, too big a... No, no it isn't. There's over, supposedly over 7 billion people on the Earth today, right? Look up how many people have allegedly been to space. It's about 550 out of 7 billion. Most of those from the United States and Russia. How many think those two countries are very trustworthy? They always tell the truth, right? Their government never lies. My government never lies. And most of the astronauts are military trained. I was in the military. We're trained to keep secrets. Right? Yeah. I, I say don't trust me either. And they're Freemasons. Okay, secret, secret, secret all over the place. 500 something people. That's not too hard. The mechanic has no idea what the king knows. Right? There are people working for these agencies that believe what they're doing is what they're doing. They're making parts. They gotta go on something that's gonna get launched up somewhere. That's all they know. There are other people who sit in front of computers that get data coming from somewhere and they interpret that data. Are they in on the conspiracy? No. They're just doing their job. But I'll tell you, some, people, some of these people are starting to question their job. People say, well we've, well, we've all seen the curve. If you ever look out, if you ever fly in an airplane, you're an idiot. If you ever flown in an airplane, you've seen the curve. Uh, I've flown in airplanes lots of times. And I would have said before doing this research that I saw the curve too. In Chicago, Delta Airlines passengers are back on their way this morning after an emergency landing in the middle of an international flight. For passengers on a flight that was 12 hours late arriving in San Francisco, they were in surprisingly good spirits. How many of us has been to Alaska? Their Delta flight from Tokyo to San Francisco developed an engine problem over the Pacific. It was diverted to Cold Bay, Alaska. Population 60. Here's what it would look like on a globe. Now, here's what it would look like on a flat earth. Which one makes more sense? One flight that should be a simple 11 hour shot across the Indian Ocean is from Johannesburg, South Africa to Perth, Australia. However, this flight takes a detour north, stopping in either Dubai, Hong Kong, or Malaysia to refuel for a total flight time averaging over 18 hours. This ridiculously wayward detour is frustrating to say the least, but on the flat earth map starts to make sense. Another quick and easy flight, you would think, is from Johannesburg to Santiago, Chile. Well, an easy 12 hour flight below the Tropic of Capricorn is to be expected. Instead, every flight crosses the equator to refuel in Senegal, all the way near the Tropic of Cancer, for a total flight time of 19 hours. Though it doesn't make sense on the globe, as you can see it fits perfectly on the flat earth map. The third flight from Johannesburg is to Sao Paulo, Brazil, which should be a direct 10 hour flight across the 25th degree south latitude. But instead, every flight crosses into the north to stop in London to refuel, making the total flight time 24 hours. From Santiago, Chile to Sydney, Australia, a straight 15 hour flight across the South Pacific is expected. Despite refueling options in either New Zealand or any island in the South Pacific, the flight stops all the way at Los Angeles to refuel before continuing south to its destination. As already stated, these detours make no sense on the globe, but are explained and work perfectly well on the flat earth map. You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. Y'all wanted part three. Here you go. Listen up. I think what I've learned is that all the secrecy around UFOs was for good reason because we didn't know what it was then we thought it was aliens and we realized holy shit they're not aliens or something else and then we're like what do we do we need to study this understand this we need to build a weaponry or something on a way to push back we got to do something but it might take like 70 years and then like 70 years later i'm like sitting there like hey i got an idea let's talk about this and some of the people are like
it's time to talk about it. Others were like, it's not time, but um, it's nature. So we got to kind of confront it regardless, but it's very real. It's insanely bigger than you think it is. It's not just a few things in the sky. It's very, very big. I got brought over to Italy. Uh, some dudes with Italian um, intelligence in Vatican and UN, they were all there when the military base had these briefings and they showed me a map of the Mediterranean. And what was happening was, is on the coast of Sicily, all these like apartments were like catching on fire like a microwave boom some books boom like the fucking couch boom and so the government came in and they're like what the fuck is going on here so they quarantine the area get everyone to leave and they're going why are things catching on fire they detected they detected these um energy beams energy weapons or something that were coming off of like way out in the ocean in the mediterranean so this dude Gets, uh, he, he was a colonel at the time, and he was in charge. Oh, what they looked out and saw were UFOs were out in the ocean fucking around. So the head of the UFO program and the head of the Italian Navy SEALs get on an unmarked civilian helicopter and just fly out to go see what's going on out there. As they're flying, a UFO pops out of the ocean and shoots their fucking helicopter down. I have the documents on the Italian intelligence letterhead. I talked to the dude, the two dudes I was in the meeting with that were on the fucking helicopter. I have pictures of the helicopter being chased by a <laughs> UFO and all the damage that was done to it with some type of microwave weapon or something. And what they found out was that there were airplanes and other helicopters kind of in the area, but the UFO knew that those dudes were looking for them. It's like they can read their minds. It's like we have drones that fly around and listen to people's like cell phones and shit. They do it with thought. Mm -hmm. You know, imagine in advance. Sure. Oh, yeah, we don't need to listen to their phone. I'll just fucking point my dish yeah, <laughs> at yeah, Steve-O, yeah. and I can hear his, whoa, it's, fuck, he's thinking of some weird shit. You know, like, right, you, right, right. shoot him down, you know? So um, it's, it's just absolutely wild. So the map they showed me of the Mediterranean, they go, these are all the hot spots of what's happening with UFOs just recently. And there was hundreds of marks, hundreds, all over the ocean. There are just things happening everywhere. Every day, it's fucking crazy. Yeah, there's a there's a big base under Puerto Rico off the. I think they're in. I think they're probably. Everywhere. I would imagine in all over the place.